morning from Friedrichshain, Berlin. Totally butchering that, got it totally wrong, but we are seeing an alternative side of Berlin today. Lots of street art and lots of really cool photography locations. So if you're exploring Berlin and you wanna get some unique photographs that are different from all the major tourist sites, then this video is for you. And it all starts right now. Let's go. This is uh, called Era Wegelände. It's a former train workshop. It's in the heart of Friedrichshain. And there are a lot of things going on in there. There's a skate lab, there's a climbing gym, there's a lot of clubs and bars and street art, obviously, and we're gonna check it out now. Walking around this place right now is incredible. There's nobody here. We've got it all to ourselves. We've seen the rock climbing area, and I think there's actually like an indoor skating area, but this that I'm walking around right now is kind of like a skate ramp. You can sort of see it there behind me. It goes all the way down here in between these trees, and I've actually been here. This has triggered a memory. I was here years ago, and it was packed. This place was absolutely packed, and there are skateboarders like running through this area, and it's designed in a way that when you're skating here, you can just keep going. Like, it's like kind of like a loop circuit, and it's got enough of these like berms where you can keep your speed. It's just so cool, man. Like, imagine you're sitting here having a beer with your buds, just chilling, and like maybe there's some live music. This place is totally packed. And then there's this skateboarding ramp area. It's like, Berlin is the city, man. This is like just the hippest place. Very, very cool that this place exists. It's free, just come and hang out. No pressure to buy anything or, I don't know, spend money, you know, you can just hang. That's really, really cool. What I like about street art, especially in Berlin, is like it's changing all the time. So you, I've come here a lot, and it's never the same. And you can always experience and see something new and exciting. Did you ever see like old pieces that you recognize? Yeah, yeah. I saw a bunch today. I was like, and sometimes it's like really so. Oh, they're still there. <laughs> yeah. So sometimes it's surprising, and some are mainstays. And yeah, you can. I will show you some later. Tell me, uh, like two of the like street art crews in Berlin. Mm. What so you here? can see a lot of tags from one up it's one united power they're big here and the other one is Berlin kids they have this blue and red letters and they go vertical yeah <laughs> and you can see them on a lot of buildings so these are the ones that you can look at. and if you google uh, or watch on YouTube Berlin kids they have really crazy stuff if it's wet and there's a puddle on the ground Focus on getting that reflection shot because that is a really good photography tip that you probably have seen but maybe you don't think about uh, if you're like exploring a city and there's a puddle on the ground. Get low and you should be able to get the reflection and it usually looks absolutely amazing. So little photography tip built in to our urban explorations of the street art here in Berlin. Did you get the shot? It's true. Time to introduce our local guide. This is Thomas Pryor. Say Hi. hello. We actually met years ago in Vienna, Austria. Do you remember why? Uh, yes, you took photos at my photo tour. Mm -hmm. Of the city, he was running a Polaroid photography walking tour, which at the time was really unique. Now they're seen all over the world, especially with Airbnb experiences. Yeah, I think you but, can do it in, in a lot of destinations now. Mm -hmm. But at the time, it was one of the, the only ones in Vienna, definitely. 
And uh, what did you do? You gave us Polaroids. There was a group of us. Yes. We walked around the city and we were only allowed to take like seven eight, photos. Eight, eight pictures. Eight? Yes. Yeah. That was the whole concept is you only can take those eight photos. Yeah. And you see, uh, you're not used to do that anymore. Like restrict yourself with pictures. So we took a lot more pictures today already. Yeah. So he, he obviously lives here now in Berlin. And uh, when I put out on uh, Facebook and here on YouTube that Nelly and I are moving to Berlin, Thomas reached out. He was like, dude, let's go explore the city. Really good photographer. So all the photos in this video are actually taken by Thomas with this little Olympus uh, Micro Four Thirds. What's the lens? 20 mil prime? Yes. Yeah. So all the photos in this video are his and I'm going to edit them though because he's too lazy to edit them. <laughs> and this is a last minute video of course, but uh, we're exploring Berlin and this video is all about alternative street art in Berlin, Germany. And photography. So Thomas, tell me about the East Side Gallery during COVID-19. So actually it's like no one here, which is never the case. It's back. I think it's one of the major sites in Berlin. Yeah, and it could be the weather this morning. It is a that Friday helps. morning, but like since COVID, tourism is really kind of, I guess, dropped a little bit. What do you I think? I think the only tourists we met today were from Germany as well. So yeah, so definitely a good time to be here because it's hard to, uh, I don't know, see this place when it's not packed. And that's coming from a tour guide who used to run tours here. Yeah, so, so it's saying we, we, we're getting shots you would never get usually. Yeah, and the puddle shots. Puddle yeah. shots are good ones. Yeah, Eastside Gallery is the uh, least alternative of the, the uh, street art in this video, but it's still worth checking out. And it's a really good segue between the two different points that we're seeing today. Exactly, so we're going to Holzmarkt now, which is our next stop. The next stop on our urban adventures here in Berlin for those who are looking for alternative street art is Holzmarkt, which is the uh, wood market for those who don't speak German. I don't actually speak German either. And uh, there's a couple of really, really cool pieces of art here. This one behind me is all made out of gaffer tape. So for all you photographers out there, look at that use for gaffer tape. It's not just used to fix our equipment, it's used to make art on buildings. Exploring the Holzmarkt here, you can totally see why Berlin is a party city, why it's got that international reputation. All these places in this area, you can just come and hang out here. You don't have to pay to be here. There's no like entrance fee or whatever. Look at this gazebo. Like, how awesome is that? Right on the river. Just a beautiful spot where you can drink outside. It's legal to drink here uh, in public. Yeah, in Berlin and Europe most of the places you can but definitely in Germany so people can just bring their own booze and hang out in this area it just feels so cool to be in the heart of the Hauptstadt the capital of Germany and have this kind of like really super like alternative vibe and great art and utilizing garbage and plastic and just like old boats and stuff to make pieces of art so for alternative photography and videography Holtzmart definitely is a place you want to come and check out and uh, yeah I mean if you want to party too or if you want to hang out with friends this place would be amazing in the evening but yeah world trash center <laughs> incredible Characters of Street Fighter 2 off the top of your head? Bison. <laughs> John Lee. Uh, I don't know. Was there like Guko or something? Was uh, it? There? Saigods. Saigods. If you get bored in the Holtzmart, you can play Street Fighter 2 at the arcade. 
That is a classic. Who can name the Street Fighter 2 characters in the comments below? That's a challenge for this video. Just as the weather started to get good here in Berlin, but we want to say thanks to Thomas. Thanks Thank to you. you Greg. For, and you're welcome. Thank you for watching the video. And uh, thanks for the images too. I'm sure they've turned out pretty good. I, I haven't seen so. them yet, but I think they probably did. Awesome. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. Alternative street art in Berlin. Be sure to check out these places next time you're here. And if you're a long time subscriber to the channel, like Thomas, then uh, it's awesome to see you guys back. I hope you enjoyed the video like always. And stay tuned because I'm going back to work next week. I'm going to Chamonix, France, do some trekking. You're not coming though, you're staying here. Yeah, but we'll meet again, most likely. So yes, be sure to check out Tom's Instagram account. What are you on Instagram? Do you even have Instagram? You can check me out on YouTube. Oh, oh. You can link it in the- In the description. Nice. So what's your YouTube channel then? It's Sofort, S-O-P-H-O-R-T. Next week we're going back to work, going to Chamonix for a uh, commission job on assignment, which is gonna be really exciting. I'm looking forward to sharing that with you. And finally, getting back to work. So it's been rough for me. You've been okay. I'm fine. Yeah. You have fun. Yeah, thanks buddy. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.